Here I am sitting in this rear driven Honda Civic. The last video we were designing and making parts uh, with the plasma cutter and in this video we are going to weld it all together. Okay, so behind me there's a little preview of the rear cross member. And under the hood we made a beginning on the strut tower to remove them and we're going to replace it. But first, starting with the intercooler, over here you see a Garrett intercooler core. So before we get to the welding part, cleaning and degreasing is necessary. Erwin is putting the plasma colored sheets on its place and getting it ready for welding. And now that everything is stitch welded, I'm making myself ready to get it welded. With the intercooler almost done, Aaron is mounting the steering angle accelerator. So on Saturday we always start to work on this car, uh, like every weekend, as we only have the weekends to work on this project. Uh, but since the car doesn't have any suspension or anything with wheels, uh, we barely can move the car. So we've put the car on a wheeled wooden frame to move it if needed, but uh, now <laughs> we've used a forklift to get the car on lift again. And this is how it looks. It takes a lot of effort, but it works. and the half subframe sitting on its place at least how it's supposed to look from there we will measure and build the rest of the subframe and suspension
know it's fitting now. We only need to weld these. This is the intercooler and radiator bracket, and uh, this what this piece. Uh, this is what we plasma cut it last uh, time, and here, this is how we are gonna mount it. This hole over here uh, lines with the original hole of the frame. So what we're gonna do is weld it here. This is why uh, we made a how you call it <laughs> a slit, and we will just weld it onto the frame. to make brackets for the top. Now here we have the intercooler. So this area is touching the engine, so this whole frame has to be cut out. So today is Saturday again, working on the Civic again, like every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, today we're working on the engine mounts, um, transmission mounts, and removing the old brake lines, going further working on the suspension. So we're now making a list of everything we need to do today. The plates for the rear suspension. <clears throat> when the sheets are in, you can think how we mount the differential. So in order to get the coil over in, we have to um, make the front strut towers a few centimeters higher.
en uh, 17. So we checked the measurements of an original Civic of how this is supposed to be. But because of the lower control arm, which is normally in the way, we have to put this tube lower. So around here. I'm gonna try to you out. This is a rear cross member, and we only have to build the front cross member, which is around here. So, because we choose for an E46 subframe and suspension, uh, this one is not fitting on the original Honda chassis. So, um, we're going to remove the front shock tower and uh, 3D scan uh, the engine bay and make new parts out of sheet metal so that this one can fit right here. Also, the size isn't a problem to fit. Uh, the bolt flange of the E46 coilover and the front shock tower of the Honda doesn't cooperate, so we have to adjust them. So we removed the old shock tower, front shock tower, and now we're gonna 3D scan to make a new one. So it's now Sunday, Corsica Car Weekend's almost over. I want to end up the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.